Hi YouTube, Roy Marco with Marco Custom Models. Coming here with just a simple uh, thing I did. I, I'm not really getting too much into this. It's just a Dodge van uh, and AMT kit. Uh, Might have been released as an MPC at one time too. And what I've done here is I've shortened the body. So all I've done is cut cut a section out here between the wheel well and the back of the, of the doors. You can see the line in the body. And so I just have to kind of work that out of the plastic and it should be pretty good. Not a lot of filler needed. And I just thought I'd show you how well that turned out. Uh, on these Dodge vans, the distance between the wheel well and the back bumper is the same on these shorties as the way this kit was released. As we're on the Chevy vans, you got to take a section out of the back as well if you want to make a short one. So I just thought I'd show you. This, this um, body was uh, just cut. There's no... Uh, no sort of uh, bracing on the inside. I, I put this back together with the plastic magic glue that uh, you can see back in the corner over there. And um, yeah, that's as strong as it would have been. You can flex that. It's, it's just awesome. It's done. It's glued. And so I'm ready to sand that out and do something with this van. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I have a friend who has a boogie van that he just we just been building in real life. And um, I may make a model of that or I might just make a a stock one but I know I wanted to shorten it I just wanted to show you guys here on YouTube on uh, how it turned out and how easy it was the trick to shortening something like this is getting it real flat so I use a sanding board that I made don't mind the uh, the sanding dust as you can see I use it quite a bit uh, I this is a piece of Baltic birch that is um, it doesn't have any flex to it it's a nice solid piece of plywood that I've taken this sandpaper which I think is 250 grit it's a woodworking style sandpaper so you don't want to get it wet and I've uh, wood glued it down to the board and pressed it between something heavy to keep it uh, well it dried and now I have a, a great board for being able to cut something like this sand it straight and then glue it back together because the trick to getting that back together nice and sturdy um, especially with the glue that I use is you have to have a nice straight straight surface so I cut it a little longer than I need it and I sand it till I Till I get it to the length that I want and that allows me to get a really nice fit so that's just a little hint out there if you uh, want to get into doing stuff like that uh, build yourself a sanding board and you can make nice strong joints okay uh, also the interior same thing I just cut it um, I did the seam a little bit just behind the doors because on the inside if you can see it's very faint but there's actually the door lines uh, start, they, there, was, there was a gap here because the older vans had a gap between the rear, the, between the back of the door and the starting of the, of the rear door. So um, the interior tub didn't change, so I took the section out of there. Uh, you're not going to see inside here very much, but if you, if you did happen to look, the door seams would at least line up-ish. So anyway, again, that's there's no strengthening done to this, it's just butted together and that's as strong as it can possibly be it just like if it was uh, um, molded and same with the chassis I cut a section out of it and uh, I got the wheels on here just to be able to line up the wheel wells because you want that chassis length to be just right on the money so you don't want to have any issues and as you can see there's no bracing on that and that is just as strong as if it was molded like that so that's the, the chassis the interior tub on the body so I just thought I'd show you that so I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this but uh, so I'd show you the shortened Dodge van and there's different grills out there from late 70s and there's like a floor headlight one so uh, that's the one I'll probably end up using because my friend has that but uh, anyway thanks for watching and uh, have a great day